Hi guys, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, lecture number 3 in Advanced Neymond Reaction. That is nothing but CSIR net Advanced Neymond Reaction. So the third one is nothing but McMurray Coupling. McMurray Coupling Reaction. So which is also an example of a double, C double bond C formation reaction. C double bond C formation reaction. The general definition of a McMurray Coupling is so the coupling of Coupling of carbonyl compounds to olefins, carbonyl compounds to olefins through the low valent titanium catalyst. Low valent titanium catalyst. Low valent titanium catalyst. That means a titanium zero catalyst. Titanium zero catalyst so this is called a uh, mcmurray coupling so generally it is the carbonyl compound so the carbonyl compounds are taken by two moles in presence of titanium zero catalyst and titanium zero valency now here it forms the new double bond so here it is nothing but olefins the carbonyls to olefins is nothing but a uh, mcmurray coupling Car carbonyls to olefins uh, through the titanium zero catalyst it is nothing but a uh, mcmurray coupling okay so generally titanium zero couplings are a very high, very highly unstable species. Highly unstable species. Now the advantage of uh, titanium zero means uh, whenever it means a low a low valent catalyst, that means uh, here it is easily donates their electrons. Easily donates their electrons. Now here uh, electron donation. So the advantage of titanium zero means it, it can donate their electron to the like carbonyl oxygen. Carbonyl oxygen then it forms the oxygen titanium bond. Okay. Now however, so if it is uh, donates their electron, but uh, it is very highly unstable. Very highly unstable. That means it cannot store uh, like uh, several days. That's why so this titanium zero catalyst uh, can be prepared uh, by in situ method. In situ method that means uh, whenever the during the reaction we will prepare the reagent then it is called the in situ reaction so now here titanium zero was uh, prepared by the in situ method so whenever titanium cl3 or titanium cl4 under the reducing agents under the reducing agents then it converts into titanium zero catalyst titanium zero catalyst let us take the one or two examples now here titanium cl3 or titanium cl4 in presence of zinc copper it is common reagent which are used in the like a mcmurray coupling <coughs> sorry titanium zero or uh, like a metals sodium potassium like lithium or lithium aluminum hydride like a, such type of reducing agents are also used as a titanium <coughs> titanium cl3 to titanium zero conversion titanium cl3 to titanium zero conversion so these are the low valent of, uh, titanium preparation methods low valent titanium preparation methods now let us go through the uh, mechanism okay now the mechanism of the reaction Okay, so the generally, now uh, I will write uh, top, uh, from top. I will write the mechanism from top. Okay, now here mechanism. So, carbonyl compound. Okay, carbonyl compound can treat it with a titanium zero. So that means titanium can send the electrons to the oxygen atom. That means here one electron, here one electron. So oxygen electron can be paired up with a titanium. Then it forms the oxygen titanium bond. Oxygen titanium bond. Now here it forms the one oxidation state. Okay. So here it having the one unpaired electron. So this unpaired electron can form with a, another carbonyl compound. Another carbonyl compound. Now here it is also uh, it forms the same manner. Okay. So that titanium also can form the same manner. Like here two moles of carbonyl, two moles of titanium. Now it forms the like like this manner okay so oxygen carbon free radical oxygen carbon free radical whenever these two carbon free radicals can form the bond like it is a first a pinnacle bond formation titanium now here also oxygen titanium so uh, this is the titanium is a solid catalyst so that means uh, it was represented by the titanium solid surface area titanium solid surface area oxygen like carbon 
oxygen like a carbon okay so this is the uh, general representation of a titanium surface area uh, with the carbonyl compounds with carbonyl compounds so now the uh, first step is uh, uh, like a c double bond c formation followed by the like here deoxid deoxygenation deoxygenation now however so general conditions here the radical of carbon oxygen bond is cleaved then it means uh, like a oxygen radical oxygen radical like a carbon radical here carbon radical now here there is no radical now here carbon radical whenever it is also like a, it forms the electron that means here titanium it forms the titanium oxide here also titanium it forms the titanium oxide two titaniums it forms the two TiO two TiO now here this radical this radical can forms the like a, can develop the double bond can develops the double bond okay now here it forms the double bond along with a titanium oxide titanium oxide now here titanium eliminated as a plus 2 oxidation state plus 2 oxidation state so this is the simplest mechanism of magnetic coupling so here it is an example of heterogeneous catalysis heterogeneous catalysis it is a catalysis reaction here the like a reagent and the catalyst both are different different phase that's why it is called as heterogeneous catalysis now this is the simplest mechanism of uh, mercury coupling whenever so now we used some of the low temperature <coughs> or mild mild reaction conditions low temperature or mild reaction conditions now it forms the like a uh, it forms the different type of manner that means it shows some exception now here in case of low temperature or mild reaction conditions here c double bond o cannot be c o bond cannot break c o bond cannot break that's why here e c o bond is not break then it forms the like here bond uh, bond dissociation takes place now here it forms the o radical o radical then it means a uh, o radical o radical can react with hydrogen now it forms the oh oh so in case uh, low low temperature as well as mild reducing agent now we will get the like pinnacles as a major product pinnacles as a major product this is the ma major exception in the mercury coupling major exception in the mercury coupling now we'll go through the uh, some of the important points like regio uh, regio selectivity chemo selectivity stereo selectivity like uh, the, uh, the such type of reactions we discussed uh, in this manner now let us go through the some of the important features of the magmari coupling so the first one stereo selectivity stereo selectivity the second one chemo selectivity chemo selectivity now the third one is the formation of intermolecular intramolecular now the fourth one is a uh, keto esters keto esters can also form the reaction now the fifth one is a tetra substitution so this is the main advantage of the mercury coupling now the sixth one is pentacol formation so these are the, uh, the general uh, important features regarding to the mercury coupling now let us go through the first one so that is a uh, stereo selectivity stereo selectivity so generally the stereo selectivity depending upon the demand of uh, re, uh, demand of steric crowding demand of uh, steric crowding now let us take the like a uh, unsymmetrical olefin so now let us take the like it is methyl it is r dash so unsymmetrical olefin so in case of unsymmetrical carbonyl compounds not the unsymmetrical olefins now in case of uh, <coughs> now let us go through the first one so stereo selectivity stereo selectivity so in case of stereo selectivity let us take the unsymmetrical olefins uh, sorry unsymmetrical carbonyl compounds not the olefins unsymmetrical carbonyl compounds now in the csir questions they they, they didn't given the two moles of uh, carbonyl compounds let us assume we are assumed uh, it is two moles okay so if they are given in the two moles that is our lucky okay uh, that is another thing so now titanium zero catalyst we will get the two types of isomers so now here r dash like a uh, r dash that means here e isomer in case of uh, another product uh, here it forms the r dash and r dash z isomer here it is z isomer here it is e isomer so in case of uh, uh, like unsymmetrical key car carbonyl compounds it gives the two types of isomers that is called a stereo selectivity that is called stereo selectivity among these two only one is major another one is minor so that major and minor will depends upon the steric crowding so let us take the one example if r dash is equal to n propyl 
So now here, E isomer, uh, it forms the 3 is to 1 ratio. E and Z isomer ratio e is 3 is to 1 ratio. Whenever, in case of R dash is uh, like a large bulky tertiary butyl group. Tertiary butyl means it is a bulkier group when compared to the N profile. So now here, it is steric crowding demands uh, 200 to 1 is ratio. 200 is to 1 ratio. That means it is a very highly stereoselective reaction. Highly stereoselective reaction. So this is the advantage of uh, McMurray couple. Now let us go through the second one is uh, chemoselectivity of uh, McMurray couple. Chemoselectivity of McMurray couple. So chemoselectivity Chemoselectivity means uh, our function, uh, our function having the tolerable more than one functional groups. So, but uh, attacking reagent selectively attack only one position over the another, then it's said to be chemoselectivity. Then it's said to be chemoselectivity. So, chemoselectivity. Let us take the one example. Now, here it is a ketone. Now, here it is aldehyde. So, only uh, one, one, uh, one compound will having the more than one uh, tolerable groups. Whenever we will, go, we will go through the some titanium zero catalyst, titanium zero catalyst, uh, among these two only one functional group can react it with a titanium zero catalyst, then it forms the carbonyl compound, then it forms the olefins. So, so our attacking reagent selectively attacks only one position over the another, then it's said to be chemoselectivity, it's said to be chemoselectivity. Now here the chemoselectivity will depends upon the reactivity order, aldehyde is greater than that of a ketone. So generally uh, all the carbonyl compounds can undergoes the McMurray reaction. All carbonyl compounds, carbonyl and all carbonyl functions like ketones, esters, aldehydes, acids are also participated in the McMurray coupling. All carbonyl functions gives the McMurray reaction. Gives the McMurray reaction. This is the second part. Now let us go through the intramolecular reaction. Intramolecular reaction. Third one is intramolecular reaction. So in case of intramolecular reaction, that means here more than one uh, carbonyl compounds uh, having the only sing similar function. So only single compound will, will be having the more than one functionality. Now in presence of titanium zero catalyst, these two are combined together to form the like a metathesis reaction, like a metathesis. Now it forms the cycloalkenes, cycloalkenes. Now these are the example of intramolecular reactions. So generally intramolecular reactions uh, uh, can use the like a uh, cyclopropanone rings uh, in case of 1,3 position. So 1,4 position gives the cyclobutane like etc okay now let us go through the fourth one so it forms the ketones as well as esters also keto esters uh, uh, mcmurray coupling now let us let us take the another example like it is ester it is ketone okay here it is ketone it is ester these two are uh, undergoes the titanium zero catalyst now here it forms the like r or that means here it is uh, like a enol ether enol ether whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis then it forms the carbonyl compound. Generally, undergoes the hydrolysis means uh, it forms the OH. So, enol can form the ketone form. That is uh, nothing but a ketone. Okay. Now, here, keto esters in presence of titanium oxide, we will get the like a uh, cycloalkanones. Uh, cycloalkanones. So, this is the impo uh, fourth important feature. Now, the fifth one is uh, tetracyclization. Now, the advantage of, uh, main, uh, main advantage of McMurray coupling is it forms the tetra bulky substituted olefins also. It, it gives the tetra bulky substituted olefins also. So now let us take the, uh, so here it is a very bulkier group. So in case of uh, titanium zero catalyst, it give up uh, their uh, large bulkier tetra substituted olefin. So it is the main advantage over than other double bond formation reactions, other double bond formation reactions. Now we'll go through the final one, pentacles. So in presence of low temperature, low temperature as well as a uh, like mild reducing uh, mild uh, reaction uh, mild reaction condition mild uh, reaction conditions at the room temperature sometimes uh, based on the reaction conditions okay it forms the pinnacles now here so it is the carbonyl compound let us take the cyclohexanone as an example so in presence of titanium titanium cl3 zinc copper now we will get the only Okay, here OH, here OH, in case of uh, low temperatures, in case of uh, low temperatures. So this is the sixth feature of uh, McMurray coupling. Now let us go through the some of the examples. So the first example is, so generally, so cyclohexanone in presence of titanium Cl3, zinc, uh, zinc copper. Now we will get the, like this type of alkene, this type of olefin. Okay, so this is the first example.
Now the second example regarding to the reactions. Now it may be possible for this uh, uh, titanium aldehyde. They doesn't they doesn't uh, mention the two moles of uh, uh, carbonyl compound starting material. Now let us assume so it is the two moles. Okay. Now based on that uh, here double bond. Now here one two three four one two three four. Okay. So this is the product. Now the third example of the reaction. It may be possible for the like here carbonyl compounds it may be possible okay now in case of uh, it is treated with acetone in presence of titanium zero catalyst now we will get the okay so double bond acetyl double bond acetyl this is the product okay so now here uh, the reactant is carbonyl compound even though uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound can also gives the uh, like olefins now here so it is the cho here it gives the e isomer that means uh, it, it is a stereoselective reaction so here e is the major when, when, our, when our, uh, over than the z isomer now let us go through the fourth example Okay, now in case of a furfinol, uh, titanium Cl3, like a sodium or potassium metal, we will get the Okay, so here these are the examples, four examples. Now let us go through the remaining examples, another examples. Okay, it's a very easy reaction, sir. The fifth one is, uh, it is benzophenol. It is a benzophenone in presence of titanium zero catalyst. Now we will get the like a double bond. Here it is phenyl group. Here it is a phenyl group. Now here it is phenyl group. Here it is a phenyl group. So tetraphenyl olefin also formed by the McMurray coupling. So generally, if both groups are both groups are same then it is called homo coupling so like that means uh, here the same 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 substituent reacted with a uh, uh, titanium catalyst then it is homo coupling now here one is uh, r uh, like this another one is uh, uh, it is a mono substituted it is di substituted then it is said to be tetra coupling now here it, it undergoes the homo coupling uh, uh, mcmurray reaction home mcmurray homo coupling reaction now let us go through the another example so here it may be possible like a uh, so these are the reactions. So it is also for, forms the our selective products. Okay, here it is five membered ring, double bond, five membered ring. Okay, so five membered ring attached. Uh, now here five membered ring attached uh, benzene. Okay, here it is a uh, uh, olefin is a trans position. Trans is a major as the product. Now here benzene. Now here it is a double bond. It, it, it is also undergoes the McMurray coupling. Now here it it, it gives the like a, so it, here it is the double bond, double bond. So then after the methyl, okay. Now here it is a phenyl group. Here it is a phenyl group. So these are the like a stereoselective examples. A stereoselective examples. Now we we'll go through the like a large group example. Large group. That means a, a steric crowding group. Tetra substitutions also forms the uh, McMurray coupling. The another example of a, like a McMurray coupling is like this. So double bond. So the, this is acetophenone, like a benzophenone and acetophenone. Now here acetophenone can give up the like a trans product as a major. So that means E is major. So now here E and Z isomers when compared uh, varied with uh, four or five kilocalories, then it is uh, E is manner. E is major. Now the ninth example, which is nothing but a uh, uh, tetra substitution. Okay, like uh, here uh, tetra substituted here uh, isopropyl group. Uh, so now here I, uh, two isopropyl group containing uh, carbonyl compound can treated with a titanium zero catalyst. Uh, here it forms the like a, a large uh, tetra tetra bulky substituted product. Tetra bulky substituted product. Now in case of um, like it is methyl, one is a tertiary methyl. Here here also it is formed the like a uh, tetra substituted olefin now here so uh, both the tri, uh, both tertiary butyl groups are opposite to each other both tertiary butyl groups are opposite to each other now let us go through the intramolecular intramolecular reactions intramolecular reactions so now the uh, 11th one is intramolecular reactions so, so generally intramolecular reaction means if one three carbonyl compounds are there try uh, 
three membered rings, one four is there, five membered rings, one four, one six is there, six membered rings. And now let us go through the uh, one three carbonyl compound. Now here it is carbonyl compound, carbonyl compound, phenyl, phenyl. Here two methyl groups, phenyl, phenyl, two methyl groups. Whenever in presence of titanium Cl three, like a zinc, copper, now we will get the cyclopropane here phenyl here phenyl it is a two methyl group phenyl phenyl two methyl groups now here one two three position that means uh, it, it gives the three membered ring now let us go through the another cyclic rings now here it is a carbonyl compound carbonyl compound here the four members that means uh, one plus four five five plus one is a six uh, now we will get the six membered ring here six membered cycloalkane so here both uh, carbonyl compound terminals are having the two methyl groups that's why it is a uh, one comma two dimethyl cyclohexane now let us go through the another example here it is also like a it is a, a six membered ring component now here one two three four five one is pentyl group another one is a methyl group now we will get the like a methyl as well as a pentyl group one two three four one two three four five okay so now these are the general examples regarding to the intramolecular cyclization reaction intramolecular cyclization reaction now however so another reagent is there intramolecular so now uh, till ending i give the uh, another uh, intramolecular reagent before that uh, we will go through the like a keto ester uh, reagent keto ester examples now here the fourth, 14th one is a uh, keto esters keto ester functionality so generally keto ester means uh, here it is a carbonyl compound here it is eight membered eight uh, carbon atoms here it is uh, ester so now here so eight plus two ten membered so ten membered rings is uh, nothing but uh, like this ten membered uh, trans rings so, okay now here one of the position so both uh, one is methyl group uh, here it, it forms the double bond and another one is or another one is or so generally 1 to 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 1 10 so this ring size is 10 now here uh, one methyl group one war so now left side is methyl group right side is war group whenever it undergoes the like a hydrolysis reaction it give up their uh, ketones so it give up their ketones okay now this is the another example of keto ester group keto ester functionality now let us go through the like a uh, <coughs> like a uh, pentacles as a major product pentacles as a major product now here it is carbonyl compound it is a carbonyl compound whenever a titanium zero catalyst with low temperature with low temperature then it give up their uh, pentacles so in case of pentacles here cis pentacles are major cis pentacles are major product cis pentacles are major product <coughs> now let us go through the uh, like uh, another examples okay now here it is a chwo CHO in the same case a titanium zero low temperature like a mild mild reducing agents now here mild at your root room temperature in case of this these examples it is it undergoes the room temperature now we will get the like a here methyl group here methyl groups so if cis uh, cis uh, diols are major products cis diols are major products so why cis diols are major product it was explained by the like a uh, here it is so which which came from the their carbonyl compound it forms the like a cis compound okay here it is cis uh, cis compound now here it is uh, uh, like a uh, trans diols so now i will take the uh, one is a cis diol another one is a trans diol so cis diols can give up their olefin product uh, but uh, trans diols uh, cannot give up their uh, olefin product so that's why cis diols can use the uh, like olefin compounds that means uh, double bonded compounds so that's why cis olefins are uh, favored in the mcmurray coupling now here it is 15th 16th 17th these are the 17th example 7 uh, 17th example now let us go through the another example of a uh, mcmurray coupling which is given in the recent J jam question 18th example of uh, um, uh, McMurray coupling is uh, the previous year jam question. Now here it is a cyclopentane, cyclopentanol, here titanium Cl3, some of the solvents uh, like a uh, K2CO3 base as well as water molecule. Now we will get the like a uh, low temperature at low temperature. Now we will get the diols, pinacols as a major product. Pinacols as a major product. So these pinacols are furtherly undergoes the like in presence of H plus like H2SO4, HCl. So now we will get the six membered ring. So this is a Okay, this is pinacol pinacolone rearrangement product. Now we will discuss those pinacol pinacolone rearrangement uh, over the rearrangement reaction. So we did not waste our time over here. Now the 19th example of uh, McMurray coupling is a uh, 19th one. Here it is a uh, like it is a uh, 
uh, intramolecular uh, intramolecular reaction now it forms the large macrocyclic product large macrocyclic product now here it is double bond methyl over here double bond so now here it is methyl group then here methyl and then it is methyl okay so let us check the so here two methyl groups two methyl after the two methyls one 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 two second position is a double bond one second position is a double bond formation now after that so uh, two methyl groups then after so double bond after the double bond one one methyl is there then it is a methyl double bond so again two methyl groups and then after the methyl double bond okay this is the 19th problem now the 20, 20th problem which is regarding to the taxol formation taxol formation now here it is methyl group here it is a like a cho functionality here it is a six membered ring six membered ring so it is the noble avadi reaction here it, it, it is protected by the two alcohol two alcohols like a like it is a carbonyl manner now here it having the obn along with a double bond here it is a cho so these two uh, carbonyl compounds can undergo the uh, titanium cl3 that means here it can undergo the mcmurray coupling now we'll get the large mighty large mighty now here it is methyl so the, it forms the like a cis diols it forms the like a, a cis diols uh, as a major product obn now here it is a uh, uh, like a protected manner okay here the hydrogen above the plane here hydrogen the above the plane now here it is a uh, below the plane uh, like a tetracyclic ring tetracyclic ring these are the uh, 20 mcmurray examples okay so which is very helpful for the pre future csir iit exam like a uh, uh, gate exams okay thank you for watching